Our song Hunter is going to come on up and help us with the next instrument. sound the way how you make the different notes as some of my friends who've never played an instrument will think, oh there's only three notes, you make three notes. No. <laughs> um, That's my <laughs> yeah. um, you so yes, you can play more than three notes. You play uh, open by tightening your lips you can make it higher or lower. And you can uh, play one, more than one vowel to play different notes. So it can be, it's mostly uh, like mid-register, it doesn't play very low, but you can try. What that is on the um, You can play higher, but the higher you play, the more pressure you have to put on your lips, and it hurts after a while. So Especially with braces. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. 
not the French. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. Anybody know? Okay. So they're right there. Okay. Yes. Baltimore. 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 <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should look into that. I, I don't think so. No. no. Close. A couple thousand miles away. Far sea land. Starts with a G. Green wants to add. Germany. German. So don't ask. What, they called it probably when there was a lot of bad French horn players around. They called it French because they figured the French didn't really know how to play music. Greece. So they didn't want their name associated. Then actually, it's a German hunting horn. We used to draw, yeah, the reason why it's all wrapped up is before they had valves, you didn't have any of this in the middle. All it was was just a tube. And to get a certain pitch, the tube was probably about this long, and it was hard to carry on a horse and play like this. So they wrapped it up, and what the guy would do is he'd hold it like this, on his arm like this, and as you're traveling through the forest hunting, which was used as signals. They didn't have cell phones back then. <laughs> so, you know, and yelling didn't really help sometimes. So, like a trumpet on the battlefield many, many years ago, or drums, that's how soldiers would hear signals being given. They'd know a certain tune and they'd know what to do. They hear this tune that means retreat, this tune means attack, whatever. When you're out hunting, certain tunes meant certain things. So if you're separated from your hunting partners, boom, this is what they would use. So, all of a sudden, they would get different size tubing, and you could play different keys. Then all of a sudden, somebody came up with valves. Now, these are not like a trumpet. These are piston valves. They go up and down. French horn has what's called rotary valves. They're round. But they do the same thing. Every time you depress one of these keys, it puts the air into a different tube. and gives you the ability to play different notes Which by shortening and lengthening the tube. But a lot more high maintenance. So the more. kids don't take good care of them, <coughs> meaning they eat or drink and then blow into it and get gooky. This, those are strings that are pulling them, so the strings break. So our French horns often come back into the shop because the kids aren't really great about cleaning and oiling them. It takes quite a bit of work, and the parents definitely have to get involved in maintaining it. The trumpets also, but they don't break as They come back in, they're all sticky and gunky, but they're not they're broken. They're easy to play. French horns are a little French horns are the tougher. So, they're for the fastidious kids that want to be clean. So, and you'll see that in the orchestra, too. French horn players are kind of upstanding citizens, the trumpet players. You know, trumpet players. Anyways, um, I don't play French horn, and I don't play one on TV either. Um, but I'm going to attempt to play something so you can hear what it sounds like. Snare drum, 
drum, which they call that a snare because it has the sound, or you shut it off. And they all come with drum pads to parents so that if we place a rubber pad on it for practicing, it makes it nice and quiet. Uh, they also practice pads when you don't even want to use the drum at all. And then Bryn is going to show us what the bells sound like. Make some better. Pick it up. Hit it. <laughs> Play chopsticks. But uh, big sister won out on the <laughs> coin toss. Coin toss, we're just going to do that today. So, um, and this again all goes into the bag. I think Tristy's pretty good about letting the kids know what they need at which week. Um, they, don't, they always have to bring all of it with them every week because the school, of course, has some snare drums there, but not enough for the large number of kids that often will pick uh, drums. And again, drums are one of those instruments that the band really doesn't need 27 of them. Unfortunately, they generally get that. Um, so in the band, at school, when you're first starting, it's a little bit tricky because not everybody's going to get to do something big and loud because then you wouldn't hear the rest of the band. So that's just something to keep in mind with percussion. Now as you get more advanced with percussion, then there's you know, marimbas and there's uh, timpani and there's all kinds of other instruments to do. But through uh, elementary school, I guess we'll introduce uh, bass drum a little bit, uh, so a little bit of that. For the middle school, more instruments, and then high school, even more instruments. But this is what you start with. Okay, so that's the percussion. Any questions about percussion? So full drum.